All right, howdy. Uh, so today I am doing a demo of an amp that I just uh, just picked up. Uh, it is by uh, Sloan Amplification, who are in Chagrin Falls, Ohio, which for those of you who are not familiar with this lovely state, is kind of the opposite end diagonally from where I am. I'm in southwest Ohio, and Chagrin Falls is up kind of in the Cleveland, Akron area. Uh, which is kind of over toward Pennsylvania. Um, actually, a lot of ant makers up that way. I'm not sure 100% why, but there are. Um, anyway, this is a very uh, simple amplifier. Um, <clears throat> it is uh, 10 watts, single-ended, uh, which means it only has one power tube. It's an EL34, and uh, there is an external bias pot for it. Um, and that sounds a little strange if because it's obviously going to be cathode biased um, but I'm guessing that what he's doing is allowing for um, you know uh, individual tubes without having to change um, the cathode bias resistor uh, if you know if it's not in the right range um, <clears throat> you can also get some different things kind of tonally happening um, with uh, you know different resistors and different bias settings. So uh, the controls on the front, uh, back first off is very simple. It, it's just uh, speaker outs and power and the uh, bias adjust. Uh, so there's very little. Uh, really nice amp. Uh, I'm not going to show you the inside, but it's hand wired. Uh, Haybor transformers, really good quality stuff, uh, and it's a great sounding amp. Um, the amp itself has an input, two gains, and I'll, I'll show you what those do in a minute. Rhythm and lead, um, treble, middle, bass, and then a master volume, uh, as well as the pilot light and, of course, the standby and on and off. Now, what's going on here is that the two gain stages, in the rhythm, uh, you have just the gain one. When you switch it into lead, you have both gains and they cascade, so they really affect each other. Um, you can't really have either one entirely turned down, um, but I'll show you that in a minute. I'm gonna start out on the rhythm setting. Uh, I'm playing a BC Rich Eagle with a uh, Duncan JB in the bridge. So not a you know, blazing hot pickup, but not a mellow pickup either. <laughs> with uh, obviously you turn it all the way down and halfway up classic rock territory. If I uh, switch this into the single coil on this, uh, this is part of the reason I use this guitar for the demo. Of kind of classic rocky stratty kind of sounds. Uh, switch it back into humbucker mode.
it doesn't have. gain but you don't need to do that on this amp and the reason for that is and this is what I was telling you before if I switch into uh, lead position now one of these knobs is misaligned um, these are both all the way down and you get nothing you get nothing with either of them all the way down so they're interactive you've got to use them both in uh, position two in the lead position here but say I put this one up here about midway, and I put this one up here about midway, you'll hear that it is considerably higher gain than the initial place where I started on uh, in the first part of the demo. simple in design but uh, capable of a lot of uh, really cool cool tones ranging from you know kind of classic rock all the way up to um, you know straight up 80s metal so well worth checking out not an expensive amp I think it's like $8.99 new from the company uh, direct and uh, he goes to a lot of shows so if you're in Ohio you can probably find him around Ohio or uh, Pennsylvania or Michigan uh, but uh, well worth checking out. Thanks.